First stop, car wash, and then we're gonna grab something to eat because your boy is hungry. Y'all know how this is, girl. I need a sponsorship for these guys because I'm about to not, I'm about to stop promoting y'all. And I'm not, not getting the free car wash, you know. I need a free car wash pass and I'm done promoting y'all, no cap. I'm literally find me a new car wash to go to and not show y'all on camera where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I've been coming here for like three years. No promo, you know what I'm saying? No more promo, no more free promo. Price is going up. No, seriously, it's not like, I need, I need a free car wash pass. It's only $35 a month, man. If I'm coming here and putting y'all business on camera day after day, I need something, man. No cap. Man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It is, like, very hot outside. Now, these few days, it's been, like, hot as hell. Like, I was on uh, Metro Detroit on Instagram. If you're from Detroit, you know what it is. So, they said yesterday was July 4th, and it was the hottest day we have had on this earth. Like, I don't know if that's just them milking it or what, but it's been so freaking hot. Like, crazy hot outside. But... I'm finna find us something to do. Now y'all see the thumbnail, y'all see the title. Now y'all see why y'all clicked on the video. So many people been asking me to explain how do I afford this car, you know what I'm saying? And it's real simple. So we're gonna get into that in a second. We, we, we're gonna get to logistics and you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all in my business, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna teach y'all something. I'm gonna tell y'all something. So we're gonna just pull up, park real quick. And uh, I don't know if I'm doing the video in here or like standing outside, but y'all gonna see, we're gonna figure it out. And I'm gonna let y'all know how we afford this car. Why do I say we use? Because, you know what I'm saying? It's like our car, but y'all just can't drive it. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can't drive it, but it's ours. We share it, you know? Y'all the shot at squad, the shot at gang, or whatever y'all wanna say, but y'all just can't drive the car. It's our car, though, you know? They got some nice little cars, though. Autos on it, they like SRT Jeep. C8 right there, shit, Porsche. These guys are getting money. I gotta get rich like them. You Not the stay boys outside. Them boys in downtown Detroit. Man, it's so beautiful down here. And they just put so much money down here to make city bread. Man, downtown Detroit is definitely a vibe at nighttime. Everything like this be like lit up. People everywhere. You know what I'm saying? We got them outside. We got the stay boys out here. Where are we even going? Oh, shit, I'm finna hit, okay. Okay, eBay, you not paying attention to those hit the damn state cop, and then this person want to just walk like the light ain't green for me, but it's cool though, it's cool, we're going to get to our destination real quick, I'm chilling, you know, downtown is definitely a vibe, like, always a vibe coming down here, look who we see, fuck, look who, look who back there, fuck, them boys outside, I'm swerving and tripping, let me get in my lane before they come try to hit me, man. I do not got time for DPD today. If you all are from Michigan and come to Detroit or just be inside Detroit, y'all know DPD be on every scat pack, Hellcat, any of these. They give me a 5.7 or a V6. They be on every car trying to get them to mess up. Like, just following them. Look at them. Oh, I switched lanes. He switched lanes. Fuck. Are we finna get pulled over for a video? Shit! <laughs> he, he looking at his computer. He looking at the tag. I'm um, fucked. Yeah, he's definitely finna flick us. Fuck. Yikes. I mean, everything is cool on my end. We gonna get, we gonna get a little content. We gonna get a little video. Do I run or? Oh my god! If he bend this right with me, he's flicking me for sure. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's definitely coming. But oh, okay, he switched lanes to the left lane. Oh, fuck. No seatbelt on. Oh my god, I am like finished. Yikes. I'm going to get like a, a Camaro. <laughs> I'm going to get a Camaro. Oh shit, I thought there was another one behind me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm looking through like they rear view. And then like I see like a vest, but it ain't a cop. I don't know what it is. Probably just security. I'm thinking like I am finished. Fuck them niggas! <laughs> I did hear them say they building the top golf down here. Damn, it's just done already, bro. Wow, I didn't know it was already like done, bro. These guys out here putting in money to the city. I like to see that, but we are going to the MGM Casino parking lot. 
this boy is slamming. What is it? No cap. That new Rilo tape is fire, but we just pulled up to the Motor City Casino. We on the rooftop chilling and vibing. So let's pull this on back. We need the sunlight, but I'm about to just tell y'all what's going on and how do I afford this car. So since we're gonna be outside the car talking about everything, we gotta turn the car off and save some gas. So boom, check this out. Right here behind, we got the 2015 Charger SRT 392. Now, I got this car maybe about a month ago. We haven't really did no mods to it. Or this is just like if you're new to the videos or new to the channel. We haven't really did no mods to it, but like I said, it's a 2015 SRT 392. I had this car for about a month now and I've been having a freaking blast with the car. But let's get down to the meat and potatoes. I began so many comments telling me or asking me as I should say, how do I afford this car? And honestly, it's quite simple. You just sell drugs. Let me stop playing, but it's, it's, it's not hard to get one of these cars. First thing you gotta do is you gotta just start building your credit. Get your credit right, get your credit in order. That's like the first thing. You can have a lot of money and have no credit, you will get denied, you know what I'm saying? So money and credit definitely goes together. It will definitely help each other. One plus one is always gonna be two. So basically, when I turned 18, I just went to my bank account. I got a credit union. So I went to my credit union, asked for a credit card. They ran my credit. I got approved for my first credit card in life, which was $500. That just started the credit out. So to get one of these cars, you need credit. Need credit. And now, if you never had a card note before or anything major in your name, it's gonna be very hard for you to get one of these cars with no cosign like I did. I got no cosigner on this car. I didn't ask nobody for help. I didn't really want nobody for help. I just kind of made it happen by myself. Credit's not going to be something you're going to build overnight. It's going to take time and years after years just to build up your credit with like credit cards. You know, now a lot of y'all like this car. Y'all like scat packs. Y'all like Hellcats, Trackhawks, SRTs. If you don't have a lot of money for a down payment like I did, it's going to be hard for you to get this car if you don't have a cosigner. Because imagine you going to a bank Ask your bank for thirty to forty thousand, sometimes sixty thousand. Some of these wild body scats are sixty thousand. Imagine going to a bank, asking for this, and all you have ever had on your credit was a few credit cards. You know, it's hard. Like, if I didn't have the money I had to put down, I wouldn't have this car. And then right now, the market is so bad on these cars; they're up in value. The bank isn't going to overfinance you for a car. Let's just say the car costs thirty thousand. If the dealer is selling it for forty. The bank is going to run the, the VIN number and look at the car facts and see that the car is only worth $30,000. they are not going to pay $40,000 for a $30,000 car. It just doesn't make sense. So off top, you're going to have a down payment of at least $10,000 to clear that and get financed for the thirty. dollars This was definitely the biggest purchase I have ever made in my life. I do not regret it because I believe in myself. I trust the process. I believe in God. You know, and I just feel like I'm going to be all right. I made a big old financial decision to keep this YouTube channel going because if you all don't know, I had a Chrysler 300 seat 2007 and like I got born. Basically just had to make the next step and buy a new car. Well, am I happy with having a car note? Eh, it's all right, first car note. I'm not too proud of it. But guess what, we have a new car here to the channel. Enough of that talk, I'm gonna tell y'all how I afford the car. Now it's different types of ways to have income. You can make a million dollars in the streets or off paperwork. It doesn't matter. You can work at a gas station or a liquor store and make five hundred thousand a year. If you're not making that much money on paper, getting paychecks, the bank doesn't care. So with that being said, you need a nice job with nice pay stubs. Now, most banks need to see two to four months of pay stubs to even get you approved. Now, I want to tell you a lot of stuff that, about like the legalities of my situation, but I can't let y'all know too much of my business, you know what I'm saying? I gotta keep my personal life different from YouTube. But guess what, we didn't do that. We ended up buying the, the SRT. Now I've been so in love with this car since I got it. I cannot stop driving it. We bought the car for 68,000 miles and we are almost at 71. Like, your boy been in love. All y'all need to do, find a nice little job to have your paperwork coming in. Have the money on paperwork. Have the money with the check stubs find you a nice hustle on the side or two to support the income whether you make ten thousand a month or five hundred dollars a month the paychecks need to be there so whatever you gotta do legal wise to get it you have to get it you know 
Because whether you make $10,000 a month or $500 a month, once you sign your life away for one of these cars for your term, you have to pay that car note and insurance every single month unless you sell the car. So the biggest thing with me, when I got approved, I'm like, okay, I got approved for this much. How much do I need to put down? What's the interest rate? Blah, 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 blah. So once you sign that paperwork and you drive off the lot, that is your new responsibility. Now, getting a car this expensive is kind of scary for some people that never had a car before through like a finance or a lease. So me taking a leap of faith was definitely very crazy for me. I just see all my friends have like finances and leases and they kept up on it. So it pushed me to go hard and, and get my stuff together and get my stuff together. I said some, if they can do it, why can't I? You know, all you gotta do is get down here, grind and hustle. You get everything you want. I'm only 23, I just turned 23, June 21st. So it's not like I'm damn near 24 or nothing. I'm still a young kid from Detroit, Michigan. Y'all see me at, we at the Motor City Casino. So if I can do it, you can do it. And you know what I'm saying? If you one of these, Man, I, I, you can do it, no cap. A lot of y'all probably like eBay, you beating around the bush, just touch how you afford it. Simple, keep a job, have a nice job that lets you make a nice amount of money per week or bi-weekly. Keep your nice job, get in there real cool so you don't have to worry about you losing your job or anything like that. You get go to work every day, hustle, get your credit right and just be in, in, in the winning financial and in a winning mind state. That's all you have to do. There's nothing in this world you can't achieve without some hard work. All you gotta do is literally put your head in the game and grind. But y'all wanna be nosy. Y'all wanna know what kind of job I got. I work at Ford, you know what I'm saying? That don't mean y'all be weird and try to stalk me and come up to the job and see big SRT 392, but it is right. I am a plant worker, I work at Ford. Like, you know, Ford bought me a car, damn near. This is probably gonna be the video y'all thought I was gonna tell y'all how much I pay per month. But honestly, I love y'all so much, but it's just not y'all business what I pay for like insurance and like my car note. But just know, to get one of these, um, car note wise, gonna be looking at like 650-ish, maybe 700. That's just what these cars are kind of going for. Maybe 500, like what decent, decent, decent credit. But most likely 600 damn near the lowest and then just for insurance on the other hand insurance is crazy like especially like i said if you live in detroit now if you live like in oakland county or anything like that you might be good but wayne county has damn near the highest insurance rates on cars because especially these cars these cars get stolen so freaking much every day probably a hundred of these cars get stolen out the city so you gotta think about it like this dodge has the most stolen cars most likely there are a big risk for these insurance companies the insurance companies don't even want to give guys insurance for these cars because they are very liable to get stolen and that's just what it is these cars are not made good enough to have people not steal them and that's just the sad part because once you spend 30 40 to 60 thousand dollars on a car you would think damn near it would never get stolen but back in the day these cars were never stolen like i've been in the car scene since like 2015 2016 is when i really got deep into it there was no such thing as having a, one of these stolen like you can leave this car on your front grass you can leave it anywhere you can leave it outside a casino for hours you'll come out to your car still in the parking lot not a ding not a scratch not a window broken not nothing wrong with it in this day and age i cannot go to the gas station i cannot go into the motor city with this car because i'm always so freaking paranoid of having my car stolen so but these cars the insurance is very high like honestly and a lot of y'all probably think you gotta have a lot of money to get in one of these cars down payment wise yeah bad credit wise yeah but make you a decent amount of money you can get one of these cars it's not a damn bugatti <laughs> it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't a ferrari it ain't a lamborghini it ain't worth a hundred thousand like you know it's, it's it's fairly easy to get one of these cars it's just Take a little bit of time, take good credit, take good money. You can't have credit without no money. No credit means you're gonna get denied, like it's simple. Looking at that 300 right there, make you want a 300 again so bad. Let me know what y'all think. Should we get a 300 and like swap it or just bring another 300 to the channel? Leave a comment right now and let me know. Should we just get a little project built for 300? So I had to come back inside to make the car because it was like very like hot outside. So we still at the parking garage and let's just show y'all how hot it is out here. Like, 
Detroit been on fire. When I tell y'all, it's been like very, very hot. Like very hot, like to the point of where like, you gotta go outside and just, look at this. 90 degrees, can y'all see that? 90 degrees outside the day after the 4th. It's crazy, like it's getting hotter and hotter by the day. But like I was telling y'all, find you a nice job, find you some nice side hustles on the side to make y'all extra two, three hundred dollars a week. Just in case if you should fall off, because like I said, whether you make a thousand a month or five hundred thousand a month, the car note got to be paid, the insurance got to be paid. You cannot have one of these cars without insurance, especially if you live in Detroit, because most likely it's going to get stolen or they're going to try to steal it. Not even just that, like you cannot have a car that you're financing with the bank and not have insurance. Your bank is not going to go for that. Your bank is literally going to harass you and tell you like, put insurance on the car. So that's all you got to do. Like I work at Ford, like I don't do nothing crazy. I work at Ford uh, about 10 hours a day morning to like evening and then i just got a couple side hustles i can't tell you all about the side hustles you know what i'm saying and let y'all know too personal but i do work at four and it's crazy i work at four and i drive dodge you know so when i pull into the parking lot i'm pulling into the parking lot with all like mustang owners and chevy owners i'm like the only mopar and i'm very out of place and it's crazy so my, my supervisor always coming up to me like bro go get a mustang blah 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 Mustang slow, but if y'all got a Mustang, y'all shit fast. Everybody else just slow because I can't shit on y'all. So, man, VR just got an email from somewhere we ordered from for a mod we just got. Now, we all like kind of stacked up with mods, but we just got a new mod just shipped out. And I ain't gonna lie, this is my favorite wallpaper I've ever had on my phone. They say, Are oh, you working hard enough? So, about time my feet hit the floor in the morning, I grab my phone and this just makes me want to grind harder. I had to switch like where I was facing it because the light was so bad. So if you make, say, $100,000 a year, try to go get a car for like $70,000, guarantee you're going to get denied. Even if you make another $200,000 a year, like off papers, off like paperwork, they don't care about what you're making off paperwork. So if you're going to get a car for $100,000, you have to make at least, I don't know, at least $200,000 a year or something like that. They have to know that you can pay this car without going broke for the simple reason of they don't want you to buy a car for a hundred thousand if you only make eighty thousand they're gonna be like okay you how are you gonna afford only spending twenty thousand dollars on a car per year you got gas you got to pay for you got to pay for this you got to pay for rent stuff like that like it has to make sense you cannot go ask for a thirty thousand dollar loan if you don't make over 30000 a year, just simple mathematics. I wouldn't give nobody a loan if they didn't make enough money to pay for it because they do not want to take a risk. High credit, good credit, none of that. They do not want to take a risk on somebody that does not make enough. So you have the best credit without the money. So it's not nothing crazy. It's a lot of videos on YouTube how to build your credit. Go look up how to build your credit in 2023 and how, like, other people are doing it now. There's so many different ways to build your credit, trade lines, and then once you get money and have a stable job, you sh you good. So a lot of y'all probably want to know what kind of credit scores you need. I think they was telling me like a 650 is high enough to get like a scat pack, you know, or like I don't know a Hellcat. So me and 600s, I'm sure you can't go wrong with a good credit history and a nice little chunk of money if you need the money because you don't have a cosign, you should be good. So. Have some nice little credit, maybe a 650, and then um have a little down payment money or cosign, and you should be all set to go. Like these cars are cool, but they're not cool for you to have to do a million things to get. Like it's not like you're asking for 300,000 for a car or nothing like that. These cars are like very easy to get. Just put your grind into it. More of the story: build credit, save for money, or just get a cosigner. Out of you gotta have, I believe, two of them three steps to get you one of these cars. Like it's, it's it's easy. Put your ground on. Find you a nice job that's paying you at least eight hundred to at least a thousand a week to afford this car. So it have to make sense to buy the car. So make you some money. Make you some good money. Get your check stubs good. Build credit, and you're gonna be a okay. Like. I only been working for this job for four months. I, I think about five now. I started the job like February 10th or something. And we are what July 5th. 
So not even long, like less than six months. I've been had credit since I was 18, I'm 23, but the financial and the down payment and stuff like that, not even six months. I had to, and, and I got everything, you know what I'm saying, situated. So all it takes is some grinding. Now, some people have different times to get stuff. Different things come to different people at different times. So it's people I know that had scat packs in high school in 2018, they come to school in scat packs, you know? You know, I wasn't that fortunate, or I, I, I wasn't in a position to have it, but guess what? I didn't hate, stayed down, and I hustled. In 2023, I got a 2015, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely is possible, it definitely can happen, but everybody's gonna have a time to shine. Only if you put your first foot forward every day. If you out here not grinding, you out here messing around, you out here playing all day, you out here is not doing what you're supposed to be doing, you aren't going to have nothing coming to you because you're not putting in any work. I've been putting in so much work. I upload every other day while still working, maintaining, doing other stuff. So, and this is like come my life and I just see it like all unfolding. So, just grind, hustle. Do not let anybody distract you. Do not let nobody not let you chase your dreams. Anything in life you want to do, do it. Y'all think this car is something like I've been so humble since I got this car. Like this car is literally nothing to me. Like I, I don't brag about it. I don't boast about it. I don't do none of that because I know I can lose in any given moment. You can lose it faster than you got it. And this ain't even a preach to y'all. I'm just want to keep it real. I just want to let y'all know how it is. A lot of people want these types of cars. and think this type of car is going to just um, do something for you. Like unless you're using it to like monetize off of it or just make content or anything like that the car is very overrated like and that's just me keeping the buck like i was happy i was more happy that i was getting the car than when i bought it because i just fell in love with the grinding i was grinding so freaking hard and i was just watching my dreams unfold me getting this car was one of my like my dreams you know so now that i got the car it's just like it doesn't really matter to me no more but i am very thankful to have the car but it's like I was just chasing a grind, chasing the next car. And I feel like I'm going to start chasing a new car. When we get a new car within like maybe a year or two, I'm going to start chasing that car very, very soon too. But it's like I damn near hit the finish line with this. So I know I got a lot of stuff still planned. But it's like once you grind for something so long, when you got the car, you're like, damn, I did it. You know what I'm saying? You kind of fall out of love with the grind, you know. So hopefully I answered your question on how I afford the car. I have a nice job at Ford. I got at least three side hustles that I get paid per weekend that are legal. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, that's just that. Keep grinding. Like, all you got to do is keep grinding. Every day I wake up, I try to find something better to do in life. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to waste a lot of time because time is not waiting for nobody. And then, also, y'all see me when I had the 300. If you are a returning subscriber, y'all see me manifest in so many videos. Like, I'm, I'm putting on screen. I made a car shopping video right there. Boom. I went to look at Hellcat. And just I I just knew I wanted to manifest one of these cars. Like I just I needed the new interior. Like I came from having the 07 Chrysler 300 C to have like a beautiful interior like this. So like you have to manifest. Write your dreams down. Write your goals down, and just achieve them. Write down everything you want to do. Plan your life. I don't care if you're writing on paper or writing it in notes. Just if you can dream it. You're going to believe it and you're going to achieve it. Like simple, no cap, nothing cliche about this. I'm not trying to make like, I'm not trying to make it seem like uh, this was something easy to do, but it just takes a grind. But once you get this accomplished, you get one of these cars, you buy one of these cars, man, you're going to feel so good because it's going to feel like your hard work to play out. I had a grind for five months of my life, straight working, sleeping, eat, no going outside unless I'm doing videos, doing this, doing that. I'm only handling business. I haven't shopped since. Like I haven't shopped in those five months. Haven't did nothing crazy with my money. I just knew the goal I wanted to complete and I just knew what I had to do to get what I wanted in life. So that's all I had to do was just grind. So these cars are cool, like I said, but they're honestly overhyped once you have one. Like there's not nothing too crazy about them. So we up here just thugging real quick. I'm gonna take this thumbnail real quick for y'all. I think the perfect corner is gonna be the corner we were just at right here back on up. But yeah, man, just put your head in the game and just focus. I, it's a Steve Harvey clip from TikTok I'm gonna put in here real quick and show y'all and just go on TikTok, look up motivational clips 
and y'all gonna feel super motivated. But I'm gonna put this clip in here from TikTok and show y'all what it is. And I just really want y'all to listen very, very close to Steve Harvey. So I'm gonna see y'all in a second. And then honestly, I don't even really have to. I'm dropping my phone. I don't even have to like even go to TikTok and let y'all see. If you don't have me on Instagram, right there, eBay shot it. I dropped these pictures on my birthday with Jackson and I'm and the video is actually right here. So we're gonna show all over. And I want y'all to literally listen to this video. Let's make sure the radio turned up. Ash Hint even is in the building for the day. Oh, Kanye, hold on, phone him. You already rich. So look at it right here, y'all. You chase your dreams, man. Do that thing, man, that keeps you up at night. That thing that bothers you, man, that makes you trip. You can't quit thinking about it. You always, that, that, that thing, man, that you wake up in the middle of the night, you got a new idea. That's what you got to chase. Because anything else, it's going to disappoint you. You're going to forever be sad, man. If you don't chase that dream, you're going to forever be miserable, man. No cap. Steve Harvey speaking I fast. Chase your dreams, uh, I got one more to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all this last one by a rapper named Rick Ross, and he was speaking real game, too. So we're going to go to that one. If you need an idea how hard you need to go this year, you got to think about it. Every wrong turn you ever made in your life. No cap, speak, Ross. So how many years have you fucked up of your life? Okay, that's how you gotta approach it. Okay, I know what last, I know what 2022 was like. I know what 2021 was like. 2023, I see how hard I gotta go. It's, it's too easy. So just like that, little videos on TikTok I will come across, and like Andrew Tate. Them type of videos really motivated me to become the person I am today and does it make me want to strive for more life. Now we got a three car accident snickerdoodle. God! Help everybody all right though. Hey, hey, you snickerdoodle me? You gonna have a problem, old man. The next day. Yo, welcome to a new day. Welcome to the same vlog, new day now. I just got off work and I'm about to go shoot some content. So I ordered something. Why is the light so bad? Hold on. Yo, I'm so tired. I'm looking for them in the back seat and it's really in the front seat. So I don't know what brand they are. I haven't even looked at the box. I kind of opened the box up and that was pretty much it. But these are ambient lighting. So basically they're going to go all around the trim pieces and stuff like that. Now, um, I seen so many YouTubers have this and the car need brakes. Like it's crazy. But without further ado, we are about 11 minutes away from the destination. And yeah, your boy had such a long day at work. It's just been crazy. I'm gonna do a little pull for y'all. Not too bad. We are in street mode. We're not in like track or sport, nothing like this. Is this a, is this a G Wagon? Nice little G Wagon. Okay, okay. They getting money. Shit, man. I'd have had to turn the freaking. What is this? Oh, that's the Nike sign. I'd have had to freaking take the. The hoodie off, like, it's getting hot out here. Like, I ain't gonna lie, these few days been, like, on fire. But we are in Packer Punch Performance Garage. And if you're not watching my video a while ago, when I had a 300 in this very exact same spot, I was telling y'all that we have a 15% off discount with anything my guy Packer Punch Performance do. Car wraps, calibers painted, calibers wrapped, full wrap, stars, anything like that. 15% off a of cold PAP 15. 15% off, he gonna get you right. So I basically was explaining to y'all what the mod was gonna be. And uh, it's gonna be the ambient light, so it's gonna go all around the trim and like stuff like that. And he does have another kit for like LED lights on the uh, floors. So I don't know if we're gonna do that today or not, but these is, what, what, what part is this right here? That goes inside and that's what lights it oh, up. Oh, so this, this yeah, one lights it, it up. Looks like the stars. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so boom. Uh, so this is the guy who I like, do all the work on my cars. This is Pack and Punch Performance. He does the stars, the full car wrap, uh, calibers painted, pretty much anything you need in one stop shop. Think of a Los Santos Customs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he literally does everything. I do not go to nobody but him. He got the best prices in state and the work is undeniable. We got the driver's side pretty much hooked up. We got the lights on, so we had to test it just to make sure it worked. So it would be a waste of time for him to install something that doesn't work. So basically, as y'all can see, the lights are on right there. Now, they did give me an app. Let me show y'all the app real quick. 
We're going to close out of that real quick. We're going to show you all the app. We're going to turn the app on. That's all like Bluetooth. So let's go to like the color yellow. Boom. It goes yellow. Y'all really can't see it on camera until like it get like real dark out. But look, y'all can see it like down there. So from boom, red, green, stuff like that. So it's definitely going to step up the POV drives at nighttime because for some reason POV drives with these cars and like the dashboard and stuff like that just go crazy on YouTube. So now that we got us a car to do proper POV drives in, y'all can see like we've been shooting and recording so freaking much I forget to charge the battery. So I got a battery in here that's dead. And then I got a battery up here that's in the charger that's dead. That's how you know I've just been shooting, shooting, and shooting. So right now I'll be off the phone until the camera get charged up a little bit more. So that's all he's doing basically just going around the trim pieces and stuff like that. Two hours later. So it's been a little minute since we updated y'all, but it has gotten dark outside, so you can see the ambient lighting a little bit better. So y'all see it running along the door right there. Then look at that around the little console. That looks fire on camera. So we just ran it like right across here and right around here. We run to run it right there in that center piece, but we need the little part that go by leg. So I'm gonna say this one more time. I've been saying this a lot of my videos. If you got that part right there, please DM me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave my Instagram on the screen. Because I need that, you know what I'm saying? I've been asking so many people. I've been looking at part out. And I'm trying to give me that part for some reason. But, yeah, man. Oh, shit. We got bugs in here. Boom. So, yeah. That looks fire, man. Just, just wait until we leave out of here. We're going to do like a small little POV. And uh, show y'all how I look at nighttime. But that looked crazy. So, y'all. We're going to turn off the light real quick. And see how it looks at nighttime. One, two. That look. It, it looks sweet. If you just look from the outside in, that looks crazy as hell. Like POV drives, it's going to be insane. Like we didn't turn it up a notch doing that. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to show y'all. Look, boom, boom. That looks, that look hard. Even like through the, the glass, I might be at a red light and they going to see, I got like a fine piece of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, mean her next to me. She's like, oh my God, your car's lighting up, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to wrap up this part of the video. This part of the segment is going to be like wrapped up. Shout out to my guy, Pack Punch Performance. He literally gets me right with anything I come to him with. Now, if you don't want to miss out on a lot of stuff we got coming, like, comment, and subscribe. I don't really say it too, too much, but we got to throw that in there. But anyways, my guy's running a sale, 15% off, only for y'all use code Pap 15, I'm having on the screen, like I told y'all earlier, full car wrap, stars, shooting stars, caliber paint, caliber wrap, half wrap, stripes, anything, ambient lighting. You pretty much, yes, different, anything you want, my God can get you right, you know what I'm saying? Full good price, one of the best prices in the state, if not. If not him, who else you gonna go to? Like, you know, come to the best, don't go to the rest. We're gonna wrap up the end of this video. Your boy just like got off work a few hours ago, came straight here to do this video for y'all. And I'm trying to grind, you know. So I might do a little peel of reaction tonight and like wrap the video up so y'all can get the video tomorrow. Cause today is Friday the seventh. Y'all might get this Saturday the eighth. So either way, we're gonna wrap this up. Y'all say bye to him. So all his stuff is going to be inside the description. The first link is going to be his um, Instagram. And then I think that's all you guys Instagram, right? Yeah, just Instagram. So y'all want any type of pricing or even quotes or anything, any inquiries that are serious, hit him up in the Instagram DM. He's going to take care of you. If you want a quote, just let him know. Tell him what kind of car you got, what you want done. And it's simple like that. Teamwork make the dream work. He only going to take you serious if you got a deposit. You know what I'm saying? Come deposit ready. He's going to take you serious. Tell him what you want. He's going to give you a price. If you read a book, he going to say how he takes his deposits and it's over with like that. Conversation go on. No deposit, no conversation. Straight up. But anyways, I'm going to see y'all in a second. We're going to finish this up. We already finished, but I'm going to talk to him a little bit off camera. And then, I don't know. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Right, we're going to go from the light to the dark. Now, I have it set on blue because I, like how, I, like, I just like how the blue look. But I think for POV, blue 
red is gonna look the best and this looks fire now i believe it has some type of motion where like it looked like it's breathing or something like that so we're gonna get into that very very soon we want to hit 94 and i think I believe we're going east i should be going west but it is what it is but it's still like a lot of lighting around here so when we get down on the free ramp the light should be turning green soon but okay light green but we got an ambulance in the distance so we're gonna let them do what they're gonna do what are they going on the freeway look at the peanut butter guts shit so we're gonna let them get on the freeway and get down a little farther for them because you know you got to be a certain distance behind them so you're gonna hold on though buddy but okay so now we're getting into the dark part this look crazy y'all pov is it's definitely different now. So POVs are like crazy on YouTube. If you got like a Mopar, Scat Packs, Hellcats, uh, Trackhawks, anything, seatbelt. So I forgot what I was saying before. I had to cut the clip and put the seatbelt on, but I believe I want to go through the app and go through the different colors and just show y'all everything the app has to offer. No, this is not um, sponsored, so I won't be telling y'all the name, but if you just look up Ambient Light and you know, it's not hard to find. So we're gonna be right back in a second. I think we're gonna go to white real quick or red. I just wanna see how it just looks. It looks so crazy. We got around the door panels around here and it, it looks fine. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So be right back in a second with a different color. And look at that. Oh, little eco. She's so ready to go. Like she be wanting to, to go like super fast. We got it on white and it looked kind of like purplish like y'all see that like even down there so it's not like a white white like a should be like a pure white like a cocaine white but it's like a little kind of purplish tint to it but let's go through a few more colors look at that oh eco eco this boy got me in my seat moving around no cat red looks so good this might be the freaking thumbnail hold on hold on let's get it thumbnail crazy but yeah i ain't gonna lie to you for nighttime POV jobs, or just if you would like a nice little ting, a lot of nice little, you know what I'm saying, nice little sweet ting, you know, you got pretty legs in the passenger seat, passenger princess, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they like this. And uh, it's a lot of things stuff and stuff like this you can do. Don't too much care for this. I feel like it's gonna be good for like POVs and like, like camera content. So even like when I had the stars in my in the 300, I really never had the stars like on really like. It was just for like people getting my car and like stuff like that. They liked it more than me because I got so tired of it. So it's something I'm probably not going to keep on unless I'm doing a POV drive because I mean, it's cool, but I'd rather not see it unless I'm doing video. So this was a mod I purchased just for video content. You know, that's how a lot of stuff going to be. Like I told y'all, this is pretty much our car. Y'all just can't drive it. So a lot of stuff y'all want me to do. As long as it ain't ass or terrible, we can do it, you know. But let's see if we can. Get a little cut up of eco. Cut up a little bit of eco for y'all. Nothing too crazy. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can hit a little white line. Okay, eBay, let me cook. I'm trying to maneuver this big ass charger. I'm still like learning like how to maneuver and cut through cars. When I had a 300, I didn't like do no cutting through cars or I didn't do like nothing real, real crazy in it. So a little practice and make it perfect. But I'm gonna go to the app real quick and see if it's any type of like breathing or like flashing mode or something like that. I believe I seen that, but they got the doors off the Jeep. They turned tonight. Look at them, they turned. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's kind of hard to drive on the freeway and be in your phone. Y'all please don't do that. I don't even know why I'm doing that, but I got it going through like multicolor and it looks pretty good. So it does have a lot of different functions. It has a functions to where like, you can like do something to play the music off your phone and let the color go with the music as, as it bounces and the music levels go up and stuff like that. I remember my stars had that, but I never use it honestly. So this is a very cheap purchase. I think I paid like $40 to get this inside the car and it's, it's gonna be perfect for POV. Perfect if you got a lady in the car, a lady would like this, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about the, about to change the colors but you put a solid little color like a white 
or like a blue. It's gonna look good. They gonna like it and everything like that. So y'all, I had got interrupted by Dom. Dom called me and wanted to talk nonsense. I'm like, Cuddy, I'm busy, I'm working. I'm out, you know what I'm saying, shooting, editing, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing my thug thizzle. But we're gonna have to end this video very, very soon. Now, I hope this video isn't like too short of a video. I'm trying to push for no less than 25 minutes. I'm sure this video is gonna be less than that. Hey yo Pluto, you going brazen? Hey. Let that shit ride, 88. I ain't in the cap. Now me and Lottie was just kicking it, and I seen this video on TikTok before, uh, like of this. But he gonna show y'all something that I forgot to even check into, and I got this car. So do it one more time. All right, so if you're looking to change this out, you just switch it to the off position, push in, turn it. Comes right out. So if y'all got it, you know what I'm saying? All my all my all my one one guys out there, y'all y'all yeah. got the voice behind, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take this man. But don't never say I didn't tell y'all nothing, so yeah, we out of here. Let's keep it real. He could have held us man down, he took a deal. That's why I can't show nobody how we live. I got the news from my sister, gave me chills. Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill. He popped his hands and I dog itching to do a drill. Same shit, just a different day. Six hour flex, six hour drive, it's just.